Tuesday night was a thing of absolute Bobcat basketball beauty. He's Rob Cornelius. I'm Russ Eisenstein. Final score, Ohio 99, Akron 75. Wow. Yeah, that was fun. And Jordan Dart is just a career night, but the Bobcats, top to bottom, took Akron's doors off and did it from early on. 38 points for Jordan Dardis. Uh, yes, that's a career high. Yep, ton of threes in there as well. Ten threes made on that game, but his first six points were from two and one and kind of set the tone, opened some space, and then he hit a ton of shots in a row. He led five in double figures, so his unbelievable effort certainly was contagious for the Cats. Yeah, and that's what's all Phil said. It created space for his teammates, but the rest of his team shot essentially 50% from the field, even without Jordan Dardis. So it was a good game all the way around for Bobcats, 1 through 13. 56-34 was the halftime score, and it felt good very early on. We knew that it was going to be a night when Jordy hit one of his first couple of threes, and the fact that Ohio was shooting free throws with 13 minutes left in the half. Yeah, got the line very, very early, shot the first 10 free throws this game and just kind of build on that and then Jordy kept hitting threes. Yeah, this is a ball club that absolutely needed an effort like this. Based on everything that's happened, the close losses, the injuries, some of the blowout losses, this was an eruption of cat emotions at the convo. And a way to get well against a team that's been really the arch rival or pretty darn close over the last 10 or so years. Yeah, it was a different field tonight because of where these two teams are at in the standings. Normally, an Ohio-Akron game with the Roundhouse is rambunctious because it has conference implications. Tonight, that wasn't the case. Yeah, this hasn't been a top four game uh, in a very, very long time. And tonight is a rare one, but Ohio played like it was and absolutely blew Akron away. So 10 wins overall, three in MAC play, on the road to take on a Western Michigan team that won over Miami uh, in Kalamazoo. We'll see them on Saturday. Yep, not an easy place to play, but certainly they've not been blowing teams out. You've got a shot to go to University Arena and get a good, good win. And so we're on the road for Saturday against Western, Tuesday against Toledo. Bottom line, this was a lot of fun. It really was good seeing former Bobcat head coach John Gross here. We wish him and them the best, and for the Cats, hopefully it rolls along. Yep, put a bunch of good shots, good things on the tape, and for the rest of the season, get some more wins, especially here in the Mackeys. 99-75 the final. All cats at the Convo on Tuesday night. We're supported by the Athens Area uh, Convention and Visitors Bureau. For Rob Cornelius, I'm Russ Eisenstein. This is Bobcat TV.